G'day guys, hope you're all well. Um, yeah, as I've been away for a couple of days, well not away, I just haven't been on YouTube much. I've been watching a couple of videos, but I haven't made a video myself. Um, waiting for the package to come in, still not here yet, I guess. Shipping from the United States is going to take a little bit longer than um, everyone else. I've seen a few people getting theirs, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm just playing the waiting game at the moment, so I thought I'd do a review on a figure I picked up at the Toy Fair. Um, I showed this one in my haul. It is uh, Mandalore. Um, this guy was from the Legacy Collection in um, a three pack that came with Django Fett and Boba Fett called the Fett Legacy. Um, despite this guy not even being a member of the Fett family. But he was, uh, I believe, is known as Mandalore the Infinite. Um, Probably should have reread what I know already know just to make sure my facts are clear. This is an absolutely outstanding figure. And speaking of Mandalorians, there's actually something I just want to show afterwards as well. So, um, um, he is missing a weapon, being that I got him for six dollars. Not a big deal. Um, very nicely detailed figure. I'll just a little plug there that needs to go in very cool um, I believe he's from Knights of the Old Republic um, or he's from that timeline anyway he was uh, killed by Darth Revan if I'm not mistaken <laughs> should have got my facts right sorry if I'm wrong but uh, I have read about him uh, just having a mental blank so I'll tell you more tell you about the figure anyway he's very cool um, his accessories he does come with this big old blade here which looks really cool really nicely detailed really like the chips and edges on the blade there um, it's obviously killed a few people with that so just remove that for the second and it also comes with this shield which if you can see on the inside of his arm can get the lighting right on the focus right so sort of the band sort of slips over his arm and then he has like a handle on it for him to hold so I just slip that off so it's a pretty nicely detailed piece can't decide what it's meant to look like but I will now onto this bad boy oh, this is a really cool figure I've been wanting to pick up this guy for a long time um, he's been on my eBay watch list for a long time too. I just never made the purchase. Um, it's always one that I always just skimmed over because I found something a bit better, something that I want a little bit more. But I mean, coming across him at the toy fair the other week, I just couldn't walk past him, especially for six dollars. Um, yeah, he's got some absolutely awesome detail um, throughout the entire figure. Um, he's not very expensive to pick up on eBay. You can get him at a good price. Um, probably in a complete box set with the other two figures. It's probably a little bit dearer. But you can certainly get him loose for a reasonable price. You can see the mask sort of fixed onto his skull there. He's got these uh, small tubes coming out from underneath his mask. One goes down onto, under the chest there. And one goes up over the back there and plugs into the uh, back of his shoulder armor there. Uh, he does have a soft goods sort of cape thing at the back there, which looks cool the way it's off to one side. And the shield is actually meant to plug into that hole there. It doesn't do a very good job of it because, um, yeah, it just doesn't work very well. But you get the point. That's what it's meant to look like. You're meant to be able to display him with that shield pegged into the back there. But it just doesn't quite work. And yeah, I like all the uh, straps up his arms. A little bit of gold detail there on his forearm there. sort of straps and stuff around his arms and 
really nice colours too. I really like the uh, like a really deep maroon mixed with a brown. Um, yeah, really nice colours. I hope they really. I really do hope they're coming out in the uh, camera for the video. So. Just a plastic sort of skirt across the front there, which is attached to his belt. And then his legs, got all sorts of straps and stuff around his legs as well. And like most other figures, he has a wedgie. <laughs> and then we get to his boots, which are also very heavily strapped to his leg. So he's a uh, strapping young lad, I suppose. Um, definitely a cool figure I recommend you pick him up if you can find him not like I said he's not hard to find on eBay um, but definitely worth the money because he is a cool looking figure um, articulation does not let down either um, he has a ball jointed head ball hinged shoulders and elbows he has swivel wrists swivel waist swivel hips ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles so he's pretty damn cool um, You can actually remove that sort of chest armour, but I won't because it's a little bit tricky to do and it'll just take too long on camera. So, yeah, I hope you've had a enjoyed a look. Um, just while we're on Mandalorians, so I actually have a bit of a custom I made over during or earlier in the week. Um, just an old Django Fett figure. Well, it's not old, it's one I've had recently. And I just got a black texture and coloured him in basically and gave him a big old weapon. And a cape. So this is him. I haven't given him a name yet. I haven't decided, but yeah, it's just. I oh know. I think he looks really cool like this. And I know, like I said, it's just a old legacy, um, legacy collection Django Fett figure. Um, cut a bit of fabric off an off a uh, cloak and just put a hole through it and put it over his head. Just cut it to shape. So he's got this awesome sort of cape. And then I've just put a bit of colour detail onto his jetpack. And of course he just looks badass really. He looks killer. <laughs> I'm actually really, really happy with how he turned out. And wouldn't be complete without a bit of without a bit of uh, heavy artillery. So I just thought I'd show that, just something I've just done over the uh, what was it, Monday morning I think. We had a public holiday here for the Queen's birthday, so um, you know, I spent about an hour or so in the morning just playing around and came up with this guy. So another Mandalorian for the shelf. So thanks for watching as always guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hoping my package comes from uh, Big Pad Toy Store over the next couple of days. Uh, hoping, well it's Wednesday now, so I'm hoping it gets here by Friday if not. Uh, Saturday morning but we will see but uh, stay tuned I'll be back very soon thanks for watching as always guys comments below and I'll see you all later take care guys